Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, today is Wednesday, the 17th of January, I think. Um, I'm on leave today because I worked on a Saturday during year end at work. So I got a day off today because I worked on a Saturday. So I got a day off, which is great for me. Uh, I know it's back to school for everyone. So I went to the mall today and it was really, really quiet. I went to Diskim, so I want to start off with a little Diskim haul. Um, yeah, let's start off with the Diskim haul. So, I know this is a Woolies bag, and that's because I was not going to pay, I think the wool, uh, the Diskim packets are like 2 Rand or something each. That is ridiculous, I'm not going to pay 2 Rand for a packet that I'm going to throw away. So, make sure I take my bag. The first thing I got from Diskim is this. This is the Future Life that I really enjoy. Um, it's really tasty, but like when I first ate it, I felt like, I don't know why I felt like actually vomiting, but I think it was just, I don't know what was happening, but I didn't really like it. But then after I started eating it, then I got used to it. I think it's that protein taste. You can taste the protein powder or something in there. And it was just giving me like, you know, wasn't so nice. But anyway, I enjoyed that. And then I also got this. Um, which is ground cinnamon, the lifestyle foods from Diskim, and it's quite a lot, it's 100 grams, and it was like, I think 24 ran, and when I looked at the Robinson one, they had with a bottle that was like 45 grams, and it was 29 rand. so I'm glad I took this, I'll just fill it in one of those um, jars that I have, and just know that it's cinnamon, because I want to add this in my oats and make different variations of oats. I want to eat oats at least five times a week and then future life maybe on the weekend uh, because oats is just so tasty for me. I absolutely love it and if you make it fun and you make it flavorful and different um, variations of it, it's really really nice. Also, cinnamon helps you lose weight. Apparently, I don't know, but I'm trying everything I can um, and I'm sharing it obviously with you as I go along. The next thing from Lifestyle Foods as well, Diskem, is chia seeds. This is 100 grams. So I just add like a tablespoon to my oats in the morning. This is so tasty. I don't know who doesn't like chia seeds, but I love this. And I love flaxseed. I have flaxseed, so I didn't buy again. But I do have that also from Diskem. And it's lasting me a while because I add a bit less of that because it's more like um it's more chewy than this this just makes everything like a pudding and it's just delicious so i'm gonna have chia seed in my oats um and then i also want to make breakfast fun on weekends or even like some weekdays maybe if i can meal prep but i'm not sure how a pancake is going to taste the next day so um i'm gonna do like a high protein pancake and use this Carb Smart um, Butterscotch Syrup, which the Lean Girl suggested. I love watching the Lean Girl. And I follow the dietit Dietitian Coach on Instagram. So they, like I love their content and I love all the recipes and everything. And this is just very, very nice because it is vegan, gluten-free, artificial sweetener, sugar-free. And is this thing torn? No man, I think the packaging is like this. I thought someone like tore this part out. Or, I don't know, maybe it is. Mm. I don't know, I'm going to have to go look, look at that. But maybe that's very strange if it is. But it's definitely not opened, it's sealed. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to make pancakes and put this syrup on. Because I'm going to cut out as much sugar as possible. Um, yeah, I already don't have uh, sugar in my coffee or... I don't really drink tea, I drink rooibos sometimes, but I don't have sugar in that, so I cut that out and I don't, I haven't eaten like sweet stuff like chocolates or anything in a while. But it is my period very soon, so I'm getting a bit worried and I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. But anyway, it's fine, I've got that, so I'll make like, even if, I think I can make oats and put like syrup on or, I don't know, I'll see for like a recipe. And then the last thing I love is like my favorite snacks, which are figs. Um, and this is only 110 calories per packet. So I got sweet chili and I got 
gel, you know. So this should be fine for like a week. And it's about eight rand a packet at the skim. Maybe it's cheaper in checkers. I'm not sure. But I haven't seen the small line in checkers. Only for the big bags. And I just prefer buying this because you have a bit of a portion control as well as the calories is already on you. So you know. If you're feeling for chips, have this. It's very, very tasty. Absolutely yum. And also popcorn. Popcorn is great. Um, You know? But yeah. I just hope that I can stick to this because I am refusing to be unhappy with my body this year. And um, yeah, it's just it's just something I, I'm uncomfortable with and I know that I have better potential, especially with my clothing. I feel so sad that I just don't get to wear it the way I want to wear it because if I put something on, like it's tight in my arms, you know, when you do this and it's like tight there, then you know... It's not working out. So yeah, um, that is what I got from Diskim. And then I got baby stuff, which is just like nappies and whatever. Also, can we talk about the size of nappies? Um, I'm shocked actually, because when he was born, it was like a pack of like 85 or something in that big pack of Pampers, right? And it's 250 years for 80 nappies, fine. Now, he's on the size five, and it is only like 50 nappies in, or 52 or something in there. And it's such a thin long pack. And it is 260 Rand and that lasts a week. So I don't understand how it can be the same price or fewer nappies because yeah, that is just insanity. I don't know. So once he starts walking, I'm, I'm very glad that my helper said that she's gonna um, start to potty train him because my dad bought that toilet thingy, the potty. So um, once he starts walking, my helper said, no, she's definitely going to train him during the day and like teach him, you know, how to go to the toilet because I'm done buying nappies. This better be my last year. And uh, yeah, once he starts walking and stuff, he needs to just go to the toilet or his potty or whatever. But yeah, nappies can be at night. But during the day, she said she'll see to him. So yeah, that is weird. Also, he's nine months now. Um, he started standing on his own which is crazy i never had a walking ring for so many months and then my aunt from durban came to visit like two weeks ago and they stayed over here and then they saw that they didn't have a walking ring and they went to go and buy him a walking ring and i didn't want one but they bought it for him and like shame he was happy he was sitting in it and he's there for like two weeks now and then yesterday i was in the bathroom and my mom caught him on camera he was in the cot, but he was just holding the sides and he was looking at the TV and all of a sudden he just lifts himself up and he was standing. So that is amazing. I need to remember the date. I need to write it in his baby book, um, which I need to share. I haven't shared that in a while. So let me do that. So this is the book that I'm talking about. This was a gift that um, someone got me for my baby shower. Um... My baby's gonna sleep in a moment, so I need to go and just check on him quickly. Um, anyway, I wanted to share this. I think I posted this on Instagram months ago, and I said I'm gonna share it in a vlog, and I completely forgot. So, this is the first page that I just stuck all of these scans on. And I mean, just look at the development, right? Let me show you a better, a better view. Okay, so I'm just gonna share this. Um, this is... I think when I found out the gender of him, but it's got all the dates there and I like just, I stuck it in like every time I went to the um, gynae and how cute is this? I mean, look at him. It's so weird like getting these things, you know, um, and then this was the one, this was the other one and then this, this one made me laugh because I'm like, oh my God, I think he has my nose. Um, and then here, it's just like a whole lot of things that you can do. And then this was his initial due date, which the gynae gave me. So they said 20th, but he came on the 11th. So this was what they told me. So I wrote it there and it's fine because that was his due date. And then this is the cutest little picture ever, which I love. And then this was the first scan I ever did. Look at that. Look at him there. Look at that compared to that, to what's in the lounge now. How? How is that? That's so weird. Um, anyway, there's a whole lot of information here. And so this is mom and dad. This 
sis who the dad is and whatever our names um and then i'm gonna put a picture of us here i think i have one photo which i will just stick in for him this is for the baby it's not for me or for anybody else but anyway i need to like print photos because this is like saying your first photo which i don't even print or write anything in here but i think i wrote some things this i'm gonna cover up because people wrote and it all got smudged and it's so horrible i don't like it um, so I'm going to cover that up and I just need to print the milestone photos and just add it in. Um, what did I write here? I think I wrote something, but anyway. Oh my gosh, no, I don't think I wrote anything in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wrote this. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go and just see him quickly before he cries. So let me go and I'll speak to you guys just now. Okay, so that's that. And then I've got this big bag of clothing i have donated these clothes to like children's homes as well as someone else that i know so now um i'm planning on donating some more so i think i know somebody um who needs it but I also, you know, it's so hard to like decide on who to give things to because some people don't like taking second hand stuff. Um, and honestly, some of the things that my child has worn, he's worn like once or twice. Some of the things he didn't even end up using because it was not in season or it wasn't for his age in that season, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm going to give away all these clothes, sort this clothes now and keep just like a few sentimental stuff that I like. Um, and then, yeah, I think that is it for... The day. I'm just gonna do that and then I will see you guys soon. Uh, Daisy, looks like you're the one with I'm gonna turn some salt and chili. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Who's gonna clean this mess? You. You. <laughs> You're gonna clean it. Huh? Hello, hello everybody. Yeah, say hello. Hello. Da 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 da. Your teeth. Right. <coughs> Time to make good. Hi guys. So I am meal prepping. Um, I actually had an eye infection for the past week, and I don't know why it always happens to me where this eye just gets infected all the time. I think it's like an allergy or whatever. But anyway, I just thought I'd share a little bit of what I'm making today. Um, I'm probably going to do a time lapse because I don't want this video to be like too long. You know, I, you know guys know how to make oats. Ingredients is obviously, we're going to get some oats, um, drink cocoa powder, some dark chocolate discs, um, chia seed, black seed, two of my favorites. And I'm going to do Future Life in there as well because it's chocolate flavor. So it's going to be yummy, decadent chocolate oats. Let's just get into making this. Okay, so I'm just making for like two days. So I'm not going to do um, a whole week's meal prep, but just for two days. I'm going to do three tablespoons of oats. So... I'm just doing the first one and then if I do second one and three heaped tablespoons like oats is really good for you high in fiber all of that good stuff um yeah so can you guys see oh let me do it here okay so it is three tablespoons of oats in there and then I'm going to be adding my chia seeds. I'm going to do half a tablespoon, so like basically a teaspoon 
of this. Oh my gosh. Just open. So yeah, just about half. And let's do one. And then we just do that. Make them in halves. I would actually love to do more chia seeds. I just don't have too much because... Yeah, let's just do a bit more. Yeah, because I eat them every day, so I don't have much. I also add them in my little fruit snack, which I'm also going to make with you guys. I'm going to do some flaxseed. Um, also, just a teaspoon in each. So, I'm going to do half there and half in here. Just a bit more there. Flaxseed is so good, guys. It's really, really good. Um... Okay, and then let me add in, I'm going to do a teaspoon, oh, let's do a tablespoon of the Future Life. Because of the protein in it, I love adding this in. And it's just chocolatey, man, so yeah, just like a spoon like that. Extra protein, it's all good and yummy and delicious. And then we're going to do some cocoa powder. Just get, this is the cocoa powder that I'm using. I'm going to use a teaspoon of cocoa powder because I like it really chocolatey. So around that much. Right. Now you can even bake this and make it like a bake, like a brownie bake. But I obviously do not have the time. So I just make it hot in the microwave or even eat it cold. It is like a delicious dessert, basically. So, yeah. Um, this is what the discs look like, the chocolate discs. So good. So I just add three in there. Just crumble it up and add three in there. Because um, I can't add more, so I'll make sure I just add like three. If I have chocolate chips, I'm probably going to throw... All the chocolate chips in here and it's just gonna be it's gonna be too much so this is what the dry mixture looks like I'm gonna mix it up quick oh it's a chocolate piece here I'm just gonna mix it up quick and it's just gonna be so good so 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 good okay that's basically what it looks like I want to add some yogurt and I unfortunately do not have low fat or almond or oat milk so I'm going to do normal full cream milk. <music> Sunday. I'm going to
to run errands with one of my friends just thought i'd show you a quick outfit this is what i am wearing just cool summer vibes um yeah we're probably just gonna go and get nando's because friendships don't need to be so high maintenance nando's is just perfect for us so we're gonna get nando's and then run some errands and then yeah i think that's about it oh she told me that there's this new ice cream place that opened up so i also definitely want to try that out so yeah just loving a simple girl look and neutral colors and yeah i just love this outfit so let me get going i'm gonna go and fetch it before the place closes yeah let's get going been waking up at the crib and sometimes i don't even know where i'm at please don't play nobody strong in this party i can't even listen to that anytime that i ran into somebody it must be a victory lap hey yeah shot it come sit on my lap they say you're Jizzy, just snap. This is between us, it's not like a star. This isn't a closable gap. Ay. I've seen some homies attack and don't end up making it back. I know that they at the crib going crazy down bad. What they had didn't last, damn baby. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes Hey guys, so I'm vlogging on my phone. Um, I'm at Sashni's engagement. I'm so excited for her. I'm so glad to be a part of this. There she is. Look at her, look at the outfit. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. <laughs> we are matching. Um, I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy to be here. I can't wait for you to hear my speech. And I'm going to carry that tray. <laughs> what do you have to say? How are you feeling? And like, you know? I'm nervous. I'm excited. And I'm hungry. What is to eat? I don't even see. What do you, what do you have to eat? Sash? I don't know. No one's there. To eat. Tell, tell everyone it's gonna be in the vlog. I, I can't I can't remember what's there to eat guys, honestly. <laughs> I can only imagine how you feel. Like it's absolutely insane. I'm you know what I mean? And I'm so excited. Tell us the outfit. Let me let me just turn it. Yes, girl. Thank you, thank yes, you so girl. Much. You got me the sari mm -hmm. and I'm in a manga. Yes. And I got a piece of my mom with me. Love that. Absolutely love that. Yeah. And Michaela put your lashes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm ready for this. Mr. Reggie. Here we come! Yay! No, we don't want to quit. I can't say anything. Oh my gosh. This is going to be memories forever. I'm going to say Did I wish you everything was the best. I love you, Mahatra. Um, mm -hmm. I wish you went to Ash. Any more days. Best fucker. We love you. Oh. You got me falling. <laughs> <laughs> falling in love, that's what you call it. actually 40 minutes away from my house so yeah it was just hectic but um yeah I and mean, then everyone was asking me where was the baby and all of that but i just don't take him places and as sad as it seems it's just i can't take him because it's too much and he only loves watching tv and it's so hard to like get him out of the house he doesn't like the pram he doesn't like all of those things so yeah i'm just dealing with that anxiety with the baby so yeah i am so excited for um this vlog because it was so fun but yeah thank you for watching and i hope that you enjoy um i'm gonna go and take a shower and then probably just chill for the rest of the afternoon and then yeah i'm not gonna be vlogging for a while it's gonna be a long time since you're gonna see a new vlog i have actually deactivated all my social media as well um just because i am taking time out and i'm focusing on a lot of things currently so let me just see to my baby i'm back like i said taking my baby anyway is just chaos i'm so sad that i do not get to take him really anywhere besides like family's house but 
I haven't taken him to the mall, any stroller. I haven't taken him literally anywhere, guys. Like I, he just does not like going out, and that's just the way some babies are. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for him to walk a bit, and then I can start taking him grocery shopping and like actually, you know, I did take him once, I think, to Woolworths. That was like a few months ago with my brother though and he was okay but like just to take him out anywhere and for me to be ready and with like like i just like i don't know how people do it but i personally cannot take him so i prefer going alone just leaving early so i can come home to him instead of him traveling me and like geez it's just a mission to go out with children but big ups to anyone who takes their children out it is a lot of work and it is extremely hectic so yeah I just get really stressed out when I'm out with him, so that is why I did not take him today. But um, yeah, it was so nice. We exchanged the trays and all of that. Um, I can't even remember what I was saying in the last clip, but I think I was saying that I deactivated all my social media. Uh, it's just because I'm focusing on a lot of things with um, career-wise as well as learning and training. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things, which I'll share in the next vlog probably. I will be vlogging, but I'm only gonna post like yeah. You know, in a long time from now um not in long it depends when i'm gonna be back on social media probably like in a month or two months or whatever but yeah i just decided to take this time off deactivate all accounts um and just focus on my life and focus on my child and yeah i am not up for social media that takes up so much of my time and drains so much of my energy where i can put that energy into something good so if you think that I blocked you or that I did something on, on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, don't think that is the case. I just deactivated all my social media um, and I will be back whenever I'm back. But yeah, I just need this time alone. I need this break to just focus on me, focus on my baby, focus on my life. And then that is it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to shower and get to bed and just chill probably watch a movie once he sleeps and then yeah because i'm home alone so that'll be fun um yeah but thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video and that is the baby kind so i gotta go bye